Yo, what's going on guys? This is the 4th Gen Gamer here letting you guys know that today's video, the Pokemon Y Randomizer Wonderlock Episode 8, will be over on youtube.com slash justplaypokemon. The link for the full video will be down below. I'll show you guys a short clip now, but the rest of the video, the full video, will be over there. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Go uh, check it out and um, yeah, it's like time I'm out. Peace! And I'll upload to your channel, you can take a day off, and I'll get you with a nice Pokemon Y Randomizer Wonderlock. Now some of you, you may be looking at your screen, making them crazy. How do you randomize Pokemon X and Y? And some of you already know this spiel, but... Oh my god, I thought that Snubble was about to die. This is our first encounter for the round. I'm just getting this out of the way now, so uh, you know, there's no bullshitting. We want to make some progress. But pretty much, you guys can check out the rules video and whatnot uh, that's in the description, along with all the rules written down. However, pretty much the whole Wonderlock element is flipped on its head in that we have a random number generator that we're going to use actually pretty soon because this is our encounter that we get to wonder trade away. And we random number generate, or we generate a number between 1 and 4. Whatever number that is, we make that certain amount of wonder trades and we keep the final wonder trade now. Some of you may be like, yeah, how is it randomizing it even though like the whole wonder trade system is randomized in the first place? Well, pretty much... It says which ones you get to keep. Like, if we get three, whatever that second Pokemon was, if we got number two, that would have been the Pokemon. So, for example, in, like, episode four, five, whatever episode it was, we got a fucking shiny Rotom. A shiny Rotom in the Wonder Trade system. But because the randomizer didn't pick, I think it was, like, two, we didn't get to keep that little shit. We had to trade it right back into the Wonder Trade system. But if you're still confused, then I do have the rule video that is a little more clear. Um, you guys see that we have Pidgeotto, uh, Pidgeotto in the party, it's just not in the layout because it's really not a member, it's just kind of like a placeholder. But uh, you guys see that we have our encounter in the party, we're going to do the random number generator, and we're going to be making four wonder trades. So I will fast forward this, and I'll come back to you when we have our...